I'm Rhonda, director of Girl Mark Arts, and today we're gonna make oversized soft sculptures made with paper bags and oil pastels. And these sculptures are inspired by artist Coco Hall, who makes sculptures out of paper mache and fabric that are objects that look like puffed up things in our everyday environment, like this donut or this giant banana. And we're drawn into them because they're kind of silly, right? Silly and shapes and colors and textures. And then we realize that they might have a more serious commentary on what's happening in our environment. So like this donut, for example, I love donuts. I especially love pink icing donuts, but it can be a commentary on how much sugar we have in our culture. So I'd like you to think about what kind of sculpture you'd like to make. Here's what you'll need. A paper bag or craft paper, oil pastels, fiber fill, scissors, a pencil, a stapler, extra options are yarn and a needle, scraps of fabric, and a glue stick. The first step is to choose an object that you're really interested in. I love strawberries. I love their shape and their color and the texture of the seeds and the little green bits on top. But when I go to the store, I can't help but think of all the pesticides that are used to grow a strawberry. And that is something to think about. The next step is to grab your brown paper. There are two pieces that you wanna have one on top of the other. And then you're going to draw the shape of your object and you wanna keep it really simple. And keep in mind that we're trying to create something oversized that's quite larger than the actual strawberry. Now you don't wanna to get too detailed because it will be difficult to create. Do a little bit. The other thing to keep in mind when doing sculpture is you have to allow for extra on the side. Uh, when you sew, you have something called a seam allowance. So just create an extra piece in there. Then we are going to cut out our shape. Make sure you keep the two pieces together so that you're cutting out the exact same shape. After you've cut out your two pieces of paper, you want to stitch it together. And the easiest way to stitch is actually with a stapler. You want to make sure that everything is lined up. You can do a couple of staples on either side to make sure it doesn't come apart. And then when you're stitching with the stapler, get as close to the edge as possible, but not too close. And then keep in mind the spacing between the staples. Now, very important step is make sure you don't staple the whole thing and you actually leave a space so that you can stuff your sculpture. Coco uses paint when she creates her paper mache sculptures, um, but we're gonna actually use oil pastels because it gives us great coverage and also uh, allows us to have some texture. Something important to keep in mind is that a sculpture has many sides and so we can't forget the other side. So find the opening that you left. Remember you left a good space. Stick your hand in there. You want to make sure you didn't don't force too much or you could rip it, but Tear it apart a little bit so it has a little bit of air. You can stuff it as much or as little as you like. I like stuffing it as much as I can without tearing the seams on the side. And I'm not gonna stuff this top part, I'm just gonna stuff the main part. Pop artist Klaus Oldenburg turned everyday objects into large, whimsical works of art. He changed the scale, shape, color, and texture of these familiar items to create surprises 
and encourage viewers to think about the world around them. In the early 60s, he was inspired by the streets of New York and turned his studio into a storefront with plaster and painted versions of food and hardware. Soon after, he created large-scale soft sculptures like Floor Burger, a commentary on America's passion for consumption. I have this fun green polka dotted fabric and I'm gonna add it on top of the green leaves up here. You can actually use a glue stick um, on the back of the fabric. Another option to stitch your sculpture together is using a hand stitch with yarn and a tapestry needle. And the first thing you need to do is thread your needle, which sometimes can be difficult. So you're gonna cut your yarn. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and cut a little piece. And then you're gonna fold it in half and make a crease. And you're gonna make sure that the paper can actually go through the head of the needle, the eye of the needle rather and slip your yarn in there. And then put the paper in the eye and pull it through and voila, you have threaded your needle. So you wanna make sure you tie a knot at the end of your yarn and you're going to cross it and pull the tail through and just pull. You can actually use a metal tapestry needle with yarn and sew directly through craft paper. And if you didn't use the staples to stitch, you could just use the yarn and the needle to stitch, but I'm just gonna show you here. And it's just a simple overstitch. Um, and you can actually go in a seam, inside the seam, so that you don't see the knot. Pull it through, all the way through. But an overstitch is just under and over. So you pull the thread down and you're gonna go under, pull up and go over. And under and over. And you can do it straight or an angle. I kind of like doing it at an angle. So this could be the primary way you stitch your pieces together, or it can just be an extra added element. The most important part at the end of this is to make sure you tie a knot. So you can do an under and over. And when you come through, Make sure you pull your needle through and pull. And I'll show you again. You can do it twice. So what would happen if you replaced your parents' phone with a giant puffy phone or gave your teacher a stuffed cup of Starbucks coffee? It's really fun to look at objects in your environment and admire them for their color or their shape or think about what would happen if you made them five times their normal size. Grab a paper bag and oil pastel and make a puffy piece of pizza or a giant stuffed tie. And then take your sculptures and lay them out on a table with your friends and see what you think. Soft sculptures are super fun to make. I just can't stop.